You were on Joe Rogan. How exciting was that? Oh, do you think Candace Owens knows that the Nazis like? Do you think she knows that the Nazis like don't like Aren't, black people? Or yeah, that they're not a fan. I she, I don't think anybody. They're not like real Nazis anymore. They're like LARPing as Nazis. So for Nazi LARPing, you probably mm. could do it, right? Okay, because they're LARPers. The Nazi party is now a big tent party. Yeah, it's a big tent party. I don't know what a tent party is, but it sounds kind of cool. What do you do in a tent party? Big tent means you have a lot of different types of people that are allowed to join. That's like very like exclu uh, not exclusive. That's like, you know, like, what is it, DEI? Is that what Elon Musk is talking? I have something I want to talk about. This is groundbreaking oh, research boy. that I've done. Are you ready? Yeah, what do you got? Doge designer is Elon Musk. I'm going to say it right now to the world. Or was it, is it Doge designer? It's something, Doge whatever. This degenerate moron that posts constantly on Twitter, it's Elon. We all know it's Elon at this point. There's no denying it whatsoever. Um, I think some Indian dude may have controlled the account at one point, but this dude is dead. Like, this account is, is Elon. I don't know anything about this account. Can you? You do us? know something about this account, but you, it's not clicking in your head. Okay. Elon Musk is retweeting this account like every day. And it's like some stats like, hey, X traffic is up by 9,000% over the last week. And it's like, wow, thanks, Doge Designer. Do you work at X? Do you have access to this inside information? Um, but of course, it's nothing to do it. It's just a random Twitter account that like hypes up Doge. Okay, but like, what's the. Oh, it hypes up Dogecoin. No, it hypes up Elon Musk. It used to hype up those shit. Okay. Now, what would make Musk me care about it. this? Why does it care? Why do we care if he has that account? Um, well, I mean, yeah, I guess you could say probably because he doesn't disclose that it's him. It's kind of a little bit wild, right? Like, well, is because this usually if we say like, this guy's got a secret account, there's usually something sensational behind it. Like imagine I was like, I discovered uh, Joe Biden's secret account. Yeah. And it's like, oh, shit. For what? It's his Reddit account. Oh my God! What'd you find in it? Well, he like collects action figures. Yeah, like that's so. I'm I'm very ahead of the curve. This isn't going to get exposed for a few months because okay. I'm like that ahead when it comes to like journalistic integrity. Doge Designer is Elon Musk, or Elon Musk has like almost exclusive access to the account to the point where he can just send a message and say tweet this, and it gets tweeted. Okay. But thousand dollars one to one i don't even care let alone i it does you don't have to care you can just bet me money so i can win it it's we can bet a hundred bucks it won't be outed it will it won't it's gonna be okay one year now there was an indian dude that used to run this account but i don't know if this dude still runs the account or not regardless this shit is the most obvious propaganda of all time this account does nothing but glaze elon 24 7 okay how do you feel about that? How do you feel about a CEO of a company glazing himself on an alt account? It's kind of pathetic, but I mean, like, people it wouldn't surprise me, I guess. You were on Joe Rogan. How exciting was that? Oh. By proxy. It's just the same dumb comment about being a wiki warrior, but, you know. Well, you are a little bit of a wiki warrior. Um, I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that, but I, I, you're there. You're one, you're one step closer to being on Joe Rogan. True. Or are you... Or are you one step farther in your mind. What do you think? Um, probably closer. The more references and stuff. Yeah. But he kind of called you like a, you know, like a bitch, right? Like that, that's almost like farther away. Cause now I'm going to be the, honest. Yeah. When I listened to the clip, cause people were phrasing it. So when I listened mm -hmm. to it, it seemed pretty harmless. I don't mm -hmm. think he had like a strong, it wasn't like this guy gets on Wikipedia and then he pretends that he's a expert in it's like the like Hassan talks to me it was more like yeah have you heard about this guy he mm -hmm. like apparently he reads a couple wikipedia articles and then he you know goes and argues with people like he's an expert on stuff and blah, blah. and that was like it. it was like it seemed like more way more more in between those two explanations i would i would go for i think is fair but um i don't know i feel like you see how i'm using the i feel statements good that's, job you're that's hedging like, very I'm, nice I'm, very I'm nice hedging well, well nay i'm <laughs> i'm not hedging i do feel like uh the odds are lower now. In my thinking, for the reason why the odds are lower, is because he's publicly been like, this guy is not serious. So why would he now bring you on if he's done the this guy is not serious thing? That is true, because he's had very serious people on like Alex Jones and stuff. So maybe he only has like the most serious people. So I'm basically that, just... That is, well, Alex Jones probably does believe his own shit, right? Didn't you say that? You is that what it means to be serious? You believe your own stuff? Yeah. Oh, in his mind. Doesn't isn't one of the viral clips in that show literally he's like, you know, 
I'm kind of retarded. <laughs> Listen, I'm um, going to be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. <laughs> In that... <laughs> no, no, no. That's going to be a sound bite. That's my line. Yeah, well. I say that. Uh, okay. Listen. I just... I'd love to see it happen. I don't know how wild it would get. What do you think you would talk? What would be the, would you try to take him to task if you were on there or would you be a good boy? I think I would just want to talk about doing mushrooms for three hours. Joe Rogan has this thing where he talks about DMT. I know. That's the meme. My audience would kill themselves. As soon as I start talking about mushrooms, they would know it's like going to be four hours of drug time. No, that's not what I'm saying. There was a thing I got linked by one of my friends. There's a whole thing going on about DMT. I don't need to get into it, but. I got linked a thing about Joe Rogan and DMT and it made me want to try DMT. It was very inspiring. The whole, the whole thing. I don't know. I had like nice music in the background and everything else. Um, I don't why know. Why would you want to do, why would you be scared of like mushrooms or weed, but you want to try DMT? Listen, Joe Rogan is an excellent, <laughs> excellent salesman. I, I oh was, God. I was hooked. All right. He was this like, you gotta, to you gotta do it. Ivermectin next if he gets COVID. I don't again. know, man. He just, he spoke to me. Okay. <sighs> it was something about it. Mushrooms are definitely bad. I know that from personal experience. Uh, same with acid, same with marijuana, all of these things. I, I'm steering clear, but Joe Rogan, that just that background music. I, you know, I can probably find the thing, but it was like, we don't want to, we don't want to play a full clip of Joe Rogan doing it. Actually, hold on. Maybe, maybe I have it. Let me, let me see. It's in every single ecosystem all over the world. Oh it exists in plants and grasses and it's everywhere. I mean, it's really the craziest drug to be illegal everywhere because everyone's got it in their system. It's like everyone's holding. That was like Terrence McKenna's yeah, holding. Like line. Yeah. And uh, it's uh, a pretty intense stuff, man. If you do it, you will talk to intelligent beings from other dimensions for real. I want to do that. I mean, it sounds crazy. You would think that if there's something like that, that it would be on the front page. It's amazing that people don't know about it. I mean, it's the most most incredible experience. I mean, we are such a, 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 like uh, an experience obsessed society. I mean, everybody wants to go whitewater rafting and <sighs> people want to talk about, you know, my uncle climb Mount yeah, Everest. It's all about experiences. We all want to ride roller coasters and see the craziest movies. There is a little powder. This is, there is production this value on this. And it will change the way you look at everything. You won't care oh about God. UFOs. If a UFO landed right out there, I'd be like, wow, yeah, they're probably from mm. another planet. Whatever. It's not DMT. DMT is a hundred thousand times crazier than that. It's like mushrooms times a million plus aliens. Mushrooms <laughs> times a million, <laughs> Steve. And literally, I mean, it sounds, wow. it's, it's crazier than you could possibly imagine wow. or describe. If you take DMT, you will communicate with something. And it's, it's, it's so... All right, this is a long video, but you, you get the point. That was very inspiring. And it had the, uh, you know, s sound effect in the back. And that was like, okay, I'm sold. The video editor really is. <laughs> that's who did it for that's me. That's the key. The, the okay. video editor, he did a good job. You know, I'm just going to say it. Joe Rogan's August. He's got, you know, he's got a few points on our August. Let's just say that. Much, well, right? maybe we can swap them out sometime. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, so where was I going with this again? I don't know. You just really wanted to talk about DMT for some reason. No, there was something that brought this up. It wasn't. You said, what do you think you guys Joe chat Rogan. about? We were talking. Are you yes. close to getting on Joe Rogan or not? Yeah. Would you take him to task or would you be taken to task? What would he take me to task on? I mean, there's fucking it anything. It would imply that he would know a lot about my content, which he wouldn't. He would. Uh, and it would he, apply. He's, he's aware of you. He knows of aware you. Aware of, but doesn't know like the intricacies of an argument that I use. And then it would also imply that he's got like things that he really wants to drill down on, which he doesn't. Mm -hmm. So the show would probably be about 50. It'd be probably literally 10 to 30% like vibing on like drugs or guns, how crazy the far left is. And then it'd be like 30 to 40% of like, here are things that I think you do that you could do a little bit better. And then it'd be like, 20, 30, 40% of like just shooting the shit on like random stuff or whatever, something like that. Yeah, I think that would be a waste. You could have done, you could do better. You could like be like one of those crazy guests that they talk about and it's just like, man, I'm never inviting that guy on again. That's the goal. When you go on, yeah. when you go on a show, you want to walk away and he's like, man, this was a huge mistake. I wish I could have cut this early. Maybe when I'm about to be at the end of my career, I'll start doing appearances like at that. At the end of your career? Yeah. All right. Hey, speaking of which, did you know that there's like almost another hour of this podcast that you're not going to see on this YouTube video. If you want to get the full thing, you have to be a Patreon subscriber, which you can do at patreon.com slash anything else. You also have very cool things that you get in there, like being able to be on the live show viewer call-ins, suggesting the topics, and uh, like behind the scenes footage. There's some really good stuff there. So yeah, check it out. Back to you, Dan.
Did you follow the Tree of Logic erudite drama? I didn't comment on that on stream. That's some fresh drama that we didn't cover. <sighs> That's fresh. That we're going to talk about that as a uh, enjoyer of this podcast space. I'm limited in what I can say. But that said, I have followed the discourse. I didn't that much, so this is all fresh to me. Do you want to? Do you want to pull it up and react in real time? Yeah, Jay's got it. All right, Jay, pull it up. Well, RJ, said, RJ is a little bit slow. Well, you know what? We're not logged into Twitter. Give me a second. Who are you typing to right now? Is it a girl? Mm -hmm. It is a girl, isn't it? Yeah. What are you saying? Uh, well, right now I'm getting pictures is, of you. Uh, is Anna still in the picture? Which one? There's like 12 Annas. You know which Anna I'm talking about. There's only one at the end of the oh, day. Oh, our Anna. We were going to have her as a guest too, remember? <laughs> I don't think I could deal with having her in the room at the same time as God, me. that would have been an amazing episode. I think it would though. be too fucking wild. It, it would have be been such too, a great it episode. Would be, it would be too crazy to have her like across from me right here. I'd be, oh, the legend. Hearing about Dr. Gottman and the doc, the dark triad and God it'd be so we should try to get Dr. Gottman. We could I could pull him. Absolutely. Maybe. But it would be like not fun. It would be fun. Dr. Gottman and Anna. Because the guy's obviously fucking retarded. He's actually, he's not, to be fair. He's actually probably one of the most well respected, like, relationship, family counselor, like, research people in the. I most, think that's ever known, I think. Is he actually? Yes. Or are you just saying that so that we can possibly get him on the show? Like, if you, like, if you Google right now, let's try this. Hold okay. on, wait, wait, wait. If you Google right now, like, uh, I'm like, gonna Google it. Signs of marriage is failing. I bet it's gonna be signs like, of a Dr. Gottman will be on the first page. Failing. Oh, oh my God. God. I'm gonna type this and my wife is gonna see it. <laughs> Okay, the first result is from AARP. That could be a targeted result because I'm old. Uh, then Reddit, then Quora, then Talkspace. Oh my God. There's no Dr. Gottman anywhere here to be seen. Thank God. I'm going to type right now. I'm going to say, also, I'm going to do a new search. Say, I love you, sweetheart. This was just for the show. Why would your wife be looking at your searches like that? She's not. It was a joke that I was doing. All right, I got some clips when you guys I love ready. My, I love my wife. She is a perfect wife. You'll never get... You know what? I oh, feel yeah, bad hold on, hold on. This counts, You'll okay. never get as lucky as me. Do you me. see from very well mind 10 signs you may have marriage problems? Do you see that? What? Never mind. No, I don't. I told you the results that I had. What? Whenever you're ready. Of what? I got the clips. Uh, wait, what am I supposed to do here? I've been listen, like it. I've been drinking. I'm. I've got. Just watch the clip. Okay, I got like the red one. Oh. Erudite is acting like a pick me. You could tell I said this too. Mm. You can clip this. You can clip this and show. I don't deal with pigs. Wait, wait, wait. This is why. Oh my God. Can I can I take a piss and you entertain chat? Is that oh possible? My God. How I many drinks have you had? You've had like two. I've had so many more than two. Fuck it. I'll hold it. I'll no, hold no, it. no, no, no. Let's go. No, let's go. It's okay. I'm used to it. Can you actually enter? But I don't want you to watch this because I want to get into the. I, I, this is like, you know, drama that affects me. Because if you and Erudite fall out, that means I'm going to have to pay a lot more money for this studio. And I don't want that to happen. I can't. I can't afford it. Okay, go, go pee. Okay, thank, thank you. I'll be right back. Uh, look out if they can hear me. Yep, you're good. Okay, um, so the background for this is I believe that Myron was being uh, ultra emotional on his uh, show. He was screaming, throwing things around. I think he breaks a glass, defending his friend uh, Walta. And I think, I think Tree quote tweets like a clip of this, or she tweets a clip of this happening, and she's like, "Oh, look at these guys being so emotional." And I think that Tree is probably trying to make fun of them for being emotional when they say that men aren't emotional. And then Erudite, I think, responds or quote tweets Tree, and she's like, "Hey, it's okay for men to show emotions." Erudite's doing her thing. Tree hates fresh and fit, and she's like rightfully calling them out for being hypocrites. And I think Tree interprets Erudite's response to her as a defense of fresh and fit, and then I think they have a back and forth. And now Erudite 
is on the Tree of Logic kill list, I think is what's happening. That's where we're at. And now we're about to get into the... And so this was last night, I believe. And now they've been waging war across the battlefield of X all day. We're about to witness some of the savagery. It's gone back and forth. We've got Cherry involved now. We've got Nick Fuentes being shot at. We've got Nick, Kyla's husband. We got Kyla. We got Tree. We got so many people that are getting. It's a whole Marvel Avengers movie going on over here. All right, what are we? I'm back. Sorry. Right. Oh my God, it feels so good after you've been drinking for a little bit. Mm hmm. Ugh. I just want to give a shout wait, out wait, to my wife. I love you, babe. Steve, you need a refill? No. He does. No. Give him I mean, a no, I, I'm, I'm not going to drink it. Don't refill me. Why? Why? I brought an entire bottle of wine for you. I want to head by events today. Two, I've drank enough. And so it's gross. I had. Three, if you want to go out to eat later, I need to. Four, it's calories. That was probably. Wait, you is, didn't do three. What is like a glass you of. You didn't do number three. A bottle of wine is only like 650 calories. So a glass of wine is probably what, 120? Maybe. Yeah, I don't need another 120 calories. That's my whole jog. Gone in a bottle, in a glass of You're wine. You're so bitch made. Have a drink. It's, no. You know how many drinks I've had? I had a drink. I this don't is, care how many drinks you've not, had. This is not also, fair. Also, if you go to the biohacker subreddit, they talk about how bad drink alcohol is bad for your you're brain. You're a bad person. You alcohol know, is bad you know, for your brain. You know you're not a homie. You know, what, you know what Huberman recommends, how much alcohol you should drink? I don't even know who Huberman is. Zero. He fucks six girls at once and lies about it. That's he, how big, he's my role model right now, okay? So. Man, fuck that guy. Yeah, six other women are. All right, fuck it. Give me the if you know. All right, play, fine. Play. Here, 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 here's what I'll do. What you drink this much and you'll be done, and I'll I, let you that's be free. A, that's more than a glass of wine. That's half. That you think that's half. hold on, wait, wait, wait. Can we get a zip? So just to be clear, for down the alcohol. That's half a glass. No, no, I'm not drinking it like it. You can do it. You're just wasting it if you want. Why? Why? All right, all right, all right. How much do you drink? How much? I'm, not, you I'm drink? done. I drank it. You had one glass. Yes, that's be good. Be a man. There are four glasses in this bottle. You've not even had one. I'm oh good. my god. Thank you. I'm not gonna peer pressure. See, that that that's because Lycan's a good person. That's no, a real man right No, he's not a good there. person. Say no to drugs, he's kids. He's literally... In, Say no. He, he has to be paid by you. He I can't. measured my telomeres yesterday. My biological age is 27. Is you know that, what yours is? It's, it's probably like, like medio, 78. Midochlorians or whatever they call them. Midochlorians? <laughs> yeah, is that what we're talking about? Like the Star Wars thing? Is that a real Metachlorians. thing? Midochlorians. Midochlorians. Is that what you're measure, measuring? They're off the charts. Measuring. Measuring. Dan went into the bathroom to take his medication for erectile dysfunction. I got no problem in that department. It's not a problem because he's not fucking anyone. <laughs> That's not true either. <laughs> You're just a big liar. <laughs> All right. What is it we got? All right. Here we Erudite go. Erudite versus Triologic. Who do you stand who do you stand for? I mean, I already know the answer. But you don't know the answer. Let's I, see the takes. I know. Let's see the takes first on Twitter because I want to stay focused on this and I got all these chats here and everybody's adding me but Erudite is acting like a pick me you could tell I said this too you can clip this you can clip this and show I don't deal with pick me's this is why I never took to that heifer okay I never said nothing bad about her but you don't she bring your pick me energy into yep. my tweet Oh, man. And justify the irrational, emotional, unhinged behavior of a man who doesn't like women. Now I understand she's a she is an ally to men, but she's an enemy to women. I don't have no respect for her. I have stayed away from her, but she brought her bitch ass to my tweet. If she wants that smoke, I will give it to her. We could, we could get Tree on this show. Keep going, Lagan. She brought her pick me ass to my Twitter. I don't follow that bitch. She <laughs> she wants to smoke. I will give it to her ass. I I, I think it's only fair that give me a second. You guys talk amongst yourselves about that. I'm gonna try to find the tweet. Oh my god. Do you think that Erudite is a pick me type of girl? I don't, not really, no. I don't get that not vibe. Really, no. Do you think so? No, I don't. No, be honest. Oh my God, Dan thinks she is, and Dan won't say it. No. He's playing some 4 5 uh, listen, the right only now. thing I'll say you, about you Erudite... You stop for a minute there. You undermined your whole position. I didn't. I didn't do anything. Just say yes. I don't think that, Dan's though. a pussy. I think that you think that, and you're, you're not saying it. You know what you're doing? You're being a pick-me. Okay, I'll tell you. Erudite is... 
a strong Kyla. Indi- Say Kyla. Kyla is a strong, independent woman. I'm looking directly into the camera. Uh-huh. And as a strong, independent woman, she is finding her footing in a space of a bunch of toxic online men. And she's going to have to figure it out what to do, the course. And it's a rocky shore ahead of her, you know, of where to dock your boat, so to speak. And that's it. It's not easy. It's not like it doesn't come natural, like for me. We know that's why you got to take medication to come. I don't have to take medication to come. Why you? Why would you say something like that? So obviously not true. You're. A, I don't know. Play the clip. Play the rest. Let's hear it. What what clip is there to play or even think or do? Well, I'm trying right now to find. I've got a thread that's Erudite's tweet, and then Tree is replying to it. I'm trying to find where you know Tree saying she's in her tweet. So I'm trying to find the original where you know Erudite gets into it. Oh my god. Just play this while the. Tweets are what you're looking for. Boom. All right. I stay clear of people I don't like. I don't like her. So what the hell is she doing? By the way, I'm not yelling at you, Craker. I'm not. She's a little. I'm just saying. She is a little. Why is she bringing her pick me energy onto my Twitter? Right in my damn All right, we found this, is a, this is a little this is a little tweet. bringing the temperature up a little bit so more than that's the only, this is what oh, that's she the only did. temperature that tree operates she at. came and drew first blood Uh-oh. on my twitter account Uh-oh. on, twitter on account. my tweet so you know what you did you have now made me open up a six pack of whoop ass <laughs> so i went to her twitter and that's started not, clowning that's funny. her because now you came over <sighs> on my side bitch i ain't playing with you Go to your daggone male army and do the pick me this and pick me that and the women ain't this and women ain't that. You ain't shit. Wow. You tell right. it. So this is the, the tweet thread. If you guys want to read it out, can you guys read that? The most emotional, effeminate, unhinged rant I have ever seen in my life by a man. If this doesn't prove that Myron Gaines is gay, nothing will. He literally leaves the show to go cry again after losing his shit. Exclamation mark. Shirt. Sure. Not so erudite. Wait, what's effeminate about yelling? It's fine he's being emotional. It's just retarded when he pretends he's just being factual when he, like everyone else on the planet, have big feelings. Big feelings. If you think yelling like this and breaking shit is normal and rational, you're just as unhinged as this dumbass. Shut the fuck up. Super normal response. Gotcha. Shut up, bitch. What? <laughs> Are you okay? I'm f- I'm fine. Just the shut up, bitch. Okay. Do we got anything else? Uh, there's another one. Okay. I miss being in the middle of this type of shit. I used to be a little bit in the middle, not like this, but. Mm-hmm. I would. My husband won't mind. This tree coming oh, <laughs> right now. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, okay. I don't I think tree overreacted a little bit. How do you feel about this, Steve? Mm, I understand Tree's original tweet. I understand Erudite's response, although I think that probably not worth it to enter here for this response. So then Tree is, once Tree's marked you for deletion, it's all over. There's no coming back? I don't think there's any coming back from that. That's not true. Yeah. I think that if Tree hate, hated you, I think there's still a path forward. I think that you can be redeemed. Maybe. I think you can be redeemed with anyone, honestly. We'll see. Some people are f***ing wild, though. Can't be reasoned with. Can't be controlled. Wild motherfuckers. Is that what you imagine yourself like when the mics are off and no one can hear you? Maybe a little bit. Turn your voice changer on. You load up that Rust server. You get on your naked and run around. The you know, beach. In, in, in Rust, I don't. I don't. I use my real voice. I want them to know it's. I want them to know it's me, but not yeah. be able to prove. Any helicopters me. come near that roof, they're gonna hear you screaming up there. <laughs> oh yeah, they're gonna hear you screaming. They will. Help! Help! They won't. No. Incoming heli. 
No, that's not at all what they would hear. <clears throat> that said, okay. Someone on the subreddit uh, is only game says, have Dan challenge Steve on the no good movies made before 1997 take. Do this you was really think that Back to the Future is a bad movie? What a dog shit movie. No, I, don't, I mean, it was fine. It was, yeah. But I'd, there, give it, I'd say it was okay. Not there, fine. there was definitely good movies, though, before 1997. Name huh? three. Okay, I have to, hold on. Let me, let me pull up. 19 best okay. movies oh IMDb. I'll tell you. Do you think I, like, Shawshank Redemption I don't Redemption have that was type bad? of memory that I can do that. Steven, Shawshank Redemption, have you seen that? Hey, dipshit. Yeah. I was going to say that. Yeah. Hey, Steven, have you seen the Shawshank Redemption? Yeah. You think that's a mid movie? Yeah, it's not that good. Okay. Um, ooh, this is right. What do you think about the Dark Knight? There's no way the Dark Knight was made before 97. Yeah, I know it wasn't, but I was just, <laughs> I was just <laughs> testing you. I was testing you. That's what I did. What about Schindler's List? Cringe. Isn't that, is that one in black and white? Forget. Yes, not yeah. all of it. Cringe. There's a part that's in red. I never watched it because I don't care. You're joking. You've never I learned seen enough it. about the Holocaust. I don't need you guys indoctrinating me even more on Holy it. Holy okay? shit. Okay. Wow. Pulp Fiction? Overrated. It, it of, is overrated. Why, did, why is it out Pulp of order? Is Give overrated. me one answer why it's out of order. No one's ever been able to answer that question. Forrest for Gump. Me. He has no answer. Forrest Gump, meh. It's like the same. Once you've watched like the first like 20 minutes of it, you've seen the whole movie. Like, um, plus it's in self auto. Okay. Now I'm going to have one for you. Seven. When, when did that movie come out? 1995. That is a good movie, isn't it? It's okay. That's more oh, than you're a, hedging. It's, the problem with it's seven. It's more than okay. The problem That's with a good seven, movie. The problem with seven is that. Let's think about it, okay? Yeah, we, <laughs> we're going to we're have to think. Let's think about it, okay? Forced heavyweight actors into major roles. Not enough Kevin Spacey. He could have been a lot more in the movie, and know, he doesn't show up until did like. Did you know the end. this is actually a pretty cool part? Yeah, they didn't even list him in As the the trailer. The, yeah, I know in the trailer or in the posters. Yep, I read Reddit too, Dan. I saw that. <laughs> Do you have any more Reddit memes? Any more Reddit trivia for us? Oh my god! No, no, wait. I am serious though. Okay, have you ever seen the movie Django? Unchained. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know that when Leonardo DiCaprio banged his hand on the table? Did you know that he actually cut his. Uh, finger for real, but he continued to do the I did. whole what, scene. What an amazing actor! What an amazing actor! What an oh amazing my god! Actor. Wait, here's actually kind of related. Okay. Do you know? Um, because you mentioned Pulp Fiction earlier. I did. Have you seen Reservoir Dogs? It was okay. Do you know Steve Bu uh, Buscemi? Yeah. Did you know that on 9/11? I he believe was it's a fire... pronounced Buscemi. Buscemi. Did you know that on 9/11? Did you know that he was a volunteer firefighter and he helped find people uh, after the plane attacks? He's such a hero. That's crazy, right? That's Quit. wild. Dan, you're, he's purposely moving off because he knows there are movies you're going to bring mm -hmm. up that are going to be good. Silence of the Lambs. Um. Yeah. It's hard. There's not enough action scenes. He, it doesn't... Oh. That was a big problem with Seven, too. Very, almost no action scenes, were there? No. There was some action also, scenes. Also, what did it mean at the end when the helicopters were like... John Doe's got the upper hand. What does that even mean? Well, it means that like they can't approach because the guy made the other dude mad. Like, what yeah. does that even mean? How it's, that's so contrived. Is, <laughs> it's so contrived. Is that enough to ruin the movie? It's just, just dumb. He it's just did. like so dramatic. He had the for upper no, hand. No, he didn't. He was literally he was a fucking make prisoner Brad in the middle Pitt of the desert. Fucking kill him. Oh my god. He was he was upset. You Did know you you know what you're off by one year. What saving Private Ryan? There's no defending that. There's just stop. Just stop. Just be like, fuck. <laughs> the problem with Saving Private Ryan is that <laughs> the opening scene is so good and the rest of the movie doesn't live up to it anywhere near as much that like... You don't have to actually. It's from 1998. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> fuck you. I, I was pushing it. Wait, when did The Matrix come out? Mm, in 99. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Have you seen The Godfather? God, horrible. Boring. Not enough action. The Godfather Italians. is fine. Wait, do you only watch action movies? No, but if you're going to make a good movie, it probably has some good action in it. Uh, I'm just going through the rest of these, just seeing like what, like something that stands out specifically. Um, you know, they're from the Gladiator movie. Uh, it was after 97. Not, I mean, it was a fine movie and everything like that. There were, apparently there was some weirdo that spent like fucking hundreds of thousands of dollars on like the outfit that, what's his face? What's the name of that dude? The main dude in that movie? Kevin Co no, not Kevin Costner. Which movie? Gladiator. Oh, Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe. Yeah, there was like a dude that spent like hundreds of thousands of dollars. 
to buy like the shit he wore. Like, what a fucking weirdo. You think he's smelling it? What a weirdo. Who knows? You're helping if him you out, had to man. guess, do you think he, did he smelled it? No. You don't think he smelled it? The guy who bought it? I feel like if you have that much mo- one, they, they must clean it or something. Yeah, but do you think he smelled it anyways? I don't know. You know what was really weird? What? I think I actually turned this down. Um, we got approached by sponsors who were, uh, I think it was Tide? Or it was a big name laundry people. But they wanted to do some event where... <laughs> big laundry. Big yeah. laundry people. So it was either Tide or one other. I think it was Tide. And they um, they wanted people to do a contest and the loser would have to wash the other person's laundry just seemed really like awkward <laughs> because i think the two that ended up taking that challenge it was like uh Ms. kiff and alexandria botez <laughs> <laughs> does that not just seem like awkward as fuck that, that does seem a little bit awkward i feel like maybe the media people at these companies are like just the kind girl of, wins like well let me just ship you my bra and panties now for you to like do the my well i mean I, you would definitely not do that you'd be like here's my sweatshirt <laughs> You know, you're not like, like, that's not obviously, you know, that's not happening. You know, what else? Do you know who, I don't know why I know this. Do you know what criminal was never caught? Yeah. The guy that uh, jumped out of that plane with the cash. No. Something Turner EB. What was the guy's name or? That was DB Cooper. DB Cooper. I was thinking about a more nefarious criminal. That guy that came out of my stream that one time and said the F slur who sounded just like Mr. Mooten, but we said that it wasn't him and it was an impersonator, <sighs> so he never got banned. No, not him either. <laughs> the person that apparently stole Pokemanes when she was moving socks and panties. Do you remember this? Oh, yeah. That could have just been like movers or whatever, though, right? Or some weird cringe. Do you think it could have been the movers or also could have been some very dedicated, like he was waiting for his moment to strike fan? No shot. I say fan very loosely here. Okay, fine. fine. Whatever. Yeah. Um, More movies. Check your DMs. No, I, uh, move no, I on. Wanna, Steve, have you seen Goodfellas? He, it's obviously an indefensible Goodfellas. position. Was that, the, is that a casino movie? It, it was The other one is Casino, yes. But it's Scorsese. Yeah, bad, boring. He's an overrated director. Did you see The Irishman? <sighs> yeah, too bad, long. Bad movie. And aged, artificially de-aging people? Cringe. That was. Oh, like when the young, uh, the wrong, young De Niro was throwing something, it was like, or when he went out to kill the guy on the ground or kick him in the face and he was like moving like the yeah. oldest man ever. Cringe. I mean, there's certainly some... he ruined his legacy there, I think. I don't think he's even a real director anymore. I think all the Marvel fans had their comeuppance against him when he shit on superhero movies. Yeah. And now they watched him digitally mm-hmm. de-age somebody and now he's just completely lost it. Yeah, I mean, what are you going to do though? No, Last you're... one, since Steven's all about action. Terminator 2. Good at the time. I don't think it holds up. The problem is that the... the um, it's not the T-1000, was it? Was that the name of the bad Android? T-9000. Was it T-9? No. T-2000? I don't remember what it is, but the issue is that if you look at that guy, he basically, um, he kind of looks like the dudes from the Kool-Aid, the um, the Capri Sun commercials. Uh, oh, yeah. No, 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 the Capri Sun commercials. That's oh, what he looks like when he transforms, so it just destroys the whole fucking movie, I think. The Capri Sun guy? Yeah. Think you've seen everything? I mean, I'm watching this video. Like the Silver Surfer? No, you fuck. Look, it's the Capri Sun guys. This is what the dude looks like. How could you take that movie seriously? This is the bad guy that's coming to kill me? What, with his high sugar content? Am I gonna get type 2 diabetes? Um. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I, I would just say some of those movies. Man, I'm about to say something that's going to make a lot of people upset, but I don't care. Okay. The Sopranos doesn't hold up. Watch today. If it was released today... Wait, you told me to watch that. Yeah, it's a good movie. But, oh, sorry, no, 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 movie. Okay, TV. It's, a, it's a good yeah. TV show. Oh, you think The Sopranos a TV show is not good? I think it's good, but I think that if it was released today with an actor that wasn't Tony... Um, James Gandolfini... Like the problem is like anything James Gandolfini does is like kind of You think the Sopranos is only good because of him? Yeah. Wow. I don't think it holds up today. I think if you released it today. Why when, did you rewatch it or something? I've seen it probably like ten times easily. Yeah. Wait, did you ever watch The Wire? Yeah, I've seen that a lot of times. Do you too. think that holds up or Yeah. But you don't think the Sopranos does? No, I don't. You know why? I think it's very uh um it's almost soap opera. 
ish. The 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 cinematography is not good. What it's are you doing a all TV these faces show. for? It's not I a underst- movie. I understand it's a TV show. I'm just saying it's a good show, but it doesn't hold up. This is a fact. I don't care. I don't care. It's it's a great show, but it doesn't hold up today. There's plenty of shows that still hold up today in the modern form of cinematography. And Sopranos is not one of them. Okay. Um, fuck, what was the show I was thinking about now? House. You know, you know what is good? House. Seasons one through three. Fucking amazing. Love House. How is it? How stupid is it that they're not? Why is there not more House episodes? Why are they not like, hey, Hugh Laurie, you want some more money? Let's go make some more House extended edition i think he gives um or he he's pretty old now i think he's not that old i saw a um i saw a what was it we saw like a thing of him and he looked old how old could he be he's not like jack wait, wait, wait you know who's guess, hold on i'm gonna t- i'm gonna guess i'm gonna say he's 59 uh, f- that he's definitely older than that he's in his late 60s is he really yeah and well, wait what age then guess I'm going to say 66. That's like mid 60s. Yes, that is mid 60s. You That's said very late 60s. Adept. He's 64. That's too old to be two house. Years off. No, you can be you can be older house. Um, hmm. Hmm. You know who looks like 9,000 years old? Dan? No. I look good for my age. Uh, I think it's Jackie Chan. No, it's not. I know who it is. Jet Li. That dude looks like he's 9 million years old. Jet Li was so young when we watched him in movies. And now he's like 9,000 years old when you look at a modern photo of Jet Li. That dude is older than fuck. He's got hyperthyroidism, bro. Well, now I feel bad. That's, I don't know. It's one of the pictures I saw. It seems like it, yeah. Jesus. Okay. Well, thanks a lot. You could have just been like, yeah, he looks old and moved on. But now, I'm sorry. If this gets back to you, Jet Li, I'm sorry. You know what? You had a very good career, and who am I to say anything about you, honestly, in the end of things? Like, nothing. I'm, I'm just a f- nobody. I have no right to criticize you and your marvelous career of work. <laughs> I like this rapper named Necro. He's f- sick. You've never heard of him, but he makes, like, a death rap type of shit. In a- <laughs> what is death rap? Death rap is stuff you wouldn't get. It's f- crazy shit. It's about, like, how to kill people, and it's wild rap, Okay. It's from a it's from a different age anyways okay i just i pulled up his channel the other day because i was like hey i need a intro song for our podcast and i fucking love necro because he's sick and he's commenting on israel versus palestine and i just think it's so wild to have a rapper putting his shit out there he's a jewish guy and uh, he's a jewish rapper that talks about killing people and uh you know it's kind of outside the scope you know we gave him a pass we the collective we it is kind of is he black no, he is not. Oh. He's very white, as most of us are. But that said, anyways, he... Most he, Jews are white? Olive. Okay. We're kind of, you know, we're, we're, we're flavored. I was under the impression that the current Hasbara uh, talking point is that <laughs> most of the Jewish people that live in Israel are descendants of other Middle Eastern Jews, not white European ones, so... Hmm. I don't know. You know what seems kind of funny now? What? It's like the distant past, but it was a really big deal when we were growing up. What? You remember when Mortal Kombat was going to be like the end of all childhood innocence? Oh, yeah. The, it was like the biggest f-ing deal in the world. The, the like, blood? The blood and the yeah. fatalities and that kids were going to like f-ing turn into demented killing machines if yeah, they played that fucking Super Nintendo era graphics and everything. Yeah. I just thought it was funny. I remember that was, used to be a really big deal. And I feel like I haven't heard people talk about violence like at that? all now. Yeah. Although, well, to be fair, I guess kids are gravitating towards games that, like, don't even have violence now. Like what? Fortnite, Roblox, Minecraft. <laughs> I mean, they have, ro- they have violence in that game. You're, like, still, like, shooting and killing people and shit, right? You think that's comparable to No Russian? <laughs> no Russian is not what we're talking about. Mortal Kombat is, like, nowhere near fucking No Russian. No Russian is, like, some fucking wild shit. That's crazy. Speaking of which, Havana Syndrome stuff. I'm not going to get into it. Yeah, let's go. I mean, we could get into it. You want to? You feel strongly about it now? You feel educated about it? Mm-hmm. And everything along those lines? Um, let me, let me, let me, let me oh. You doing all right there, Dan? Mm. 
I'm almost out, Dan. I got you, Dan. Okay. Oh, you were like Havana Syndrome. Death no Ray. Way. Yes. I actually changed my mind. Um, I'm going to stick a stronger claim. Not only is Havana Syndrome not real. Not real. Those guys weren't up to anything. Really? I reject the whole article. I think the whole article is bullshit. You know what was a really crazy situation? Hmm. So I went to DC in October. I'll do $1,000 on it. Go ahead. We already have $1,000 on no, it. No, we did 100 before, didn't we? No, we did $1,000. No, he lowered it to 100 because he thinks you might be right. I did a thousand now, and I have to do one to oh, you're one so to confident. One. Oh, just but I'm one to one. The, the entire article, not just the energy weapons, but all of it. I don't think Russian people are attacking Americans in f-ing embassies. I think it's, it's a like ridiculous the easiest premise. money ever. But okay, I, I hope these one to one journalists get their shit together. Yeah. All right. Just think about that. I went to DC. Think about that. I went to DC. Don't want to talk about it. I want to talk about this dumb DC. I, yes, I agree to the term. I already agreed oh to it before. God. I was the one who suggested the thousand dollars. Some cringe trip that he went on where they shut him to jack off without getting caught by his fucking wife. It's the cringiest fucking trip ever. What did you just say? I went on a trip where I couldn't get caught jacking off by my no, wife. No, you found technology to help you, like motion detectors and shit, to warn you when somebody was coming around the corner to your cuck shed. That is not at all what I was about to talk about. How would you, how, why does your mind even go there? I was just thinking the last thing we talked about privately. Is that the last thing we talked about privately? Yeah, was you trying to hide your masturbation habits from your family. I don't think I've ever talked about my masturbation habits with you. You may be You lying. might not have remembered you, it because you were drinking a lot, but. Are you doing a little bit of not truth telling right now? <laughs> no. You doing a little bit of lying, I Steve? always tell the truth. You Every doing word a little bit I speak of LaRouge? is truth. I don't, you don't even drunk Dan wouldn't fuck As me over God, like that. God strike me dead right now, hand across my heart. You don't, you don't believe in him. It doesn't oh, count. do you think God cares if you don't believe in him? It doesn't matter. It's worthless. I know past Dan. I know past Dan, future Dan, and drunk Dan, and neither of them would ever discuss our masturbation habits with you. Okay. Never. Because we're homies. We're like this. We're tied together. Okay. That's how I know you're full of shit right now. Anyways. What was I talking about? You went to D.C. Yes. In October, I went to D.C. And I went there with my wife and my kids. And we went to a Russian restaurant called Marivana. Like marijuana, but Marivana. Anyways, it was really good. Really good food. But apparently, uh, and recently, sorry, let me take a step back. So I went there. It was really good. I had the beef stroganoff. And I had some blini. Because my wife is Russian, for all those who didn't know. (laughs) Okay. That's why we, that's why I'd go there. I don't typically seek out Russian food because mm-hmm. it's not very good. It's not this restaurant. I've been to this restaurant before. It's fucking horrible. You've never been to that. Marivana. Restaurant. This you want to play this game and you're gonna just <laughs> I lose. Mean, okay. This restaurant was so fucking bad. Okay, tell me okay? about it. Yeah. This restaurant was so fucking bad. I filed a complaint with the fucking city, and they okay. said they were gonna shut them the fuck down. Okay, that's how bad that restaurant is. How many doors did the restaurant have? Look it up. I don't need to look it up. I was there. I know. I'm really? curious. You if think you know. it's open right now? Yeah. You think that restaurant still exists? I'm curious if you know. Look him up. Look at Marivana, DC. What was inside that restaurant? Nothing now. They're wiped out. <laughs> they closed permanently. You know, why am I playing this game? I know you've never been there. You don't They're know gone. anything about it. Look it up. How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet, Dan? I understand <laughs> it's gone. Okay. Because I haven't gotten to my story yet. Oh, okay. okay. Anyways, I went to this restaurant. And the yeah, food you was- were stroking off in the beef. I was stroking off into the beef. And, um, uh hold on okay so i went there (laughs) it was good food wow it was okay and uh i i was recently in dc a few days ago for the international privacy conference i think that's what it's (laughs) called is it not called the privacy conference yeah that's good okay uh iapp International Association of Privacy Practicers. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Okay. okay. Anyways, um, I was there, and I and I was there with Team Redact Dev. We were gonna go and um, go out to a nice dinner, and I was like, "Hey, let's go to this place that I went to when last time I was here," and it was shut down. And basically, the reason that it was shut down, Lichen, search for. Marivana Havana syndrome. I, I know what to search. How crazy is this? Okay. So the place that I wanted to go, okay, mm-hmm. the head chef was one of the main archi- architects 
of Havana syndrome. Architects or re like reporters of it happening, or what do you mean? He like know. worked like he previously was the head chef here, and he was like worked for the GRU. The GRU. Yes, the GRU. Okay, like like with minions, right? GRU. I feel like our Dan is not as good as the H three Dan. Can I log into my fucking computer, please? What do you need to log in for? Everything you need is right here in front of you, Dan. I need to set up the fucking fingerprint thing. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Anyways, it was just kind of crazy. Okay. Um, anyways, the food was really good there. You know what? Some Russian food is really good. I'm going to be honest with you, but it's a very small percentage. It's not like Jewish food. Jewish food is fucking garbage. And do you know why Jewish food is garbage? Why? Because it's working under a set of restrictions. There's no benefits. It's not like, hey, you know, we have this cool thing that's going on. It's like, hey, you can't mix meat with dairy. <laughs> is fish considered meat in Jewish culture? I don't know. But I know that there was a Jewish steakhouse near my, near my place, and it, and it failed. It did not go good. Um... So, yeah. I don't know. Wasn't good. What the fuck is the point of this story? I don't know. Just Jewish cuisine is not good in general. No, we have a, we have that's why we, we, we talked about DC, that restaurant, the dumb conference oh, you went Havana, to to Havana, masturbate yeah, privately. Havana syndrome. Also, we could repeat the talking point that Jews don't have good food. They don't have good food. Wow. Matzo ball is soup that like is okay. a theme? Are we going to work this into every episode where Dan tells a random fuck story so that he can pivot around to like Jews don't have good food? I'm, I'm sorry that I'm like filling some dead air here with some conversation well of someone i was who just understood. letting you have opportunity to talk so okay yeah yeah there's some stuff that's okay matzo ball soup is okay okay uh beef brisket is good but not probably the way that you get at passover it's not very good it's okay i like beef brisket more like barbecue style personally yeah um can we claim shakshuka do you know what that is i don't think you can even claim beef brisket i think we can claim Shakshuka, though. I don't know what the fuck Shakshuka is. It's, it sounds like a Jewish impersonation of Shaquille O'Neal. That's exactly what it is. What is it? It's eggs. You've had it. I've cooked it for you. It's oh, the there you stewed go. Stewed eggs and tomatoes. Stewed eggs. What's the difference between a stewed egg and a basted egg or a poached egg? I don't it's know. It's technically a lot of the complications eggs are poached, in there. poached in stewed tomatoes. Okay. Anyways, I feel like the Palestinians would be like, that's ours. I mean, you know, fuck it. We'll take it. Fuck them. Careful. What, what are you going to say about that, Lycan? Shakshuka uh, belongs to the Jews. Well, I'm going off the first response on, on the internet. and says, however, the dish's origins are disputed as shakshuka was not originally Israeli cuisine. Says who? Lycan? This is uh, Arcgis Story Maps. Oh, wow. The, the, it, pff, I can't argue with that. That's a serious source that we have right there. Okay, well, I mean, if they say so... Arctis, what was it? Story maps? Arctis story maps. Well, if they say so, then it must be true. Um, I like it. I'll take you. I'll take you for some good shakshuka if you want. My neighborhood, you know. Wikipedia, little, since little we, Israel. Since we like Wikipedia here, says that Jewish immigrants from North Africa brought mm. it to Israel. Ooh. Which, mean, which means it's a North African dish. No, it means it's a Jewish North African dish. Not necessarily. Necessarily. See what I did right there? I turned the tables against him. Who are you typing to? No one. It's my ice clicking. He thought I was talking. What do you think to about him? the four-day work week discourse? Um. How, how long do you make your software devs work? <laughs> fuck! I wish I could make them work seven days a week, but they're lazy as shit. Do you charge them hourly? Do they have to log in, or do you charge them per <laughs> line of code like Elon wants to? Or? If I could, I would monitor their cursors. Okay, but these fuckers, I shit you not. They have mouse cursor mover so devices. I've seen people that have that, yeah. Uh, this motherfucker that works for me has it. And he had the balls to show it to me, too. Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. They have, it's a, it's a device. And it moves the mouse cursor. You put your mouse on top of it, and it moves. And it makes you think that you're there. I, you know what? We have to return to office. We have to return to the 19th. You're going to buy an office for a redact for all the devs to... I'm in working. I, I feel like it needs to happen at this point. There's no other way around it. 
I'm Whatever get- happened to the Danmobile, that revolutionary device that was going to go around on the uh, Segway and <laughs> watch people in your data center? <laughs> that device. Uh, yeah. You know, that's a wild story. We don't have to get into that, but that device is still there. <laughs> but the power's been turned off to the facility, so I don't... There's not enough battery power for me to log into that device to turn Why has the on. power been turned off in the facility? <sighs> it's a long story. Let's hear it. We got... Oh, sorry. I don't want to interrupt. You were talking about uh Why do I Jewish have to go on all the stories? I had a, okay, you know what? F*** it. Who cares? Okay. Who cares? There we go. Let's hear it. I had the foresight as a genius in 2017 to create a data center for GPUs, okay? Mm-hmm. And... This was before AI. Nobody cared about AI in 2017. All they cared about, what did they care about in 2017? Crypto and mining it. Crypto and mining it, that's right. So I created a data center in uh, New York that did this at low cost power, had favorable weather, okay? So that we could do air cooling. We didn't need air conditioning. That's a big part of the costs when you're doing crypto mining. Anyways, I did this facility. I created it from the ground up, from nothing, okay? Because that's the type of man that I am. You give me a concrete slab, and I will build a three megawatt facility on top of it. Jews call it conquest for labor. That's where Israel came that's from. That's what I did. Wow. Yes, very just like the Jews just in Tel Aviv like who turned Aviv. a swamp into Tel Aviv. There you go. I turned concrete into a three megawatt facility. Anyways, I did that. Eventually, it was acquired by another company called Sizerx, which was a public company. It had a billion-dollar valuation as a result of what I did. Needless to say, the management of the company that acquired my assets did not do a fantastic job, and the valuation of the company had changed over time from a billion dollars down to now probably a few hundred thousand dollars. That is not on me. I left immediately and cashed out as soon as I could, of course. Mm -hmm. That said... Uh, there is still that facility out there in Western New York. Did they sell the assets or did they sell all those GPUs out there? Oh no, those assets are still there. Those 1080 Ti's and NVIDIA Tesla V100s are still sitting there doing nothing because it's, the company is run by a bunch of fucking morons. Wait, if you had to guess, mm-hmm. what do you think a 1080 Ti sells for these days? 180. Oh, I was going to guess 200. Let's uh, look on eBay. I want to see right now. I'm curious. I got you. Oh, never mind. Dan's doing it. A 1080 Ti is the hero of the graphics cards. It's about 175. Oh my God. Do you see how good I am? There's no way I could have known that. No way. How many are in that facility? I feel like I'm just like setting this place (laughs) place up to get robbed. I don't know. um, Thousands. Over five? Um, There was, let's see, eight per machine. And the power usage on them that we had. Oh my God, I've been drinking too much to be able to do this calculation. Um, there's many. There's, there's many of them. Certainly over a thousand. Thousands, most there's likely. There's over 2,000. That's 350K that could be liquid. I don't know. Someone, someone could do it. Um, but anyways, there's a public company that owns it. And they're just fucking sitting there jerking their dick. I don't give a shit. I sold every fucking penny of my stock. That Why I did you use 1080 Ti's instead of Asics? Um, that's a question that definitely came <laughs> from someone that wasn't you, because you don't even know what Asics stands for. Wait, but that what? Said, what does Asics stand for? Without averting your eyes to the left. Hold on. If I think long enough, I can. I'm sure you can come if up. If I think with long it. enough, I can figure out. Best guess. When, Asic. When crypto started, yes, people used. CPUs, because you just mine on whatever, because who the fuck cares? Yeah. But uh, crypto benefits a lot from parallel processing. So eventually people moved it onto GPUs. Yeah. Because you could do it way better than that, with some GPUs being really efficient for it. That's why certain ones like were always out of stock and all that. Uh-huh. And then eventually, depending on the particular algorithm you had, people realized, well, because power costs and everything were so, power costs and hardware costs were so important, instead of using GPUs, people were like, what if we created a custom-made uh, piece of hardware that could just calculate stuff on that algorithm? And that's an ASIC. I don't remember what it stood for, but an ASIC is basically a, a type of, it's not a GPU, but it's a type of parallelized processor board that is uh, optimized for computing one equation, um, ASIC. So you could buy ASICs for mining Bitcoin. You would never use a, a traditional GPU, but I'm pretty sure ASICs were popular by 2017. So there must have been a reason why, I'm assuming you invest so much money, why you guys were using standard GPUs instead of just buying a 
kind of ASICs. Integrated circuit, it's not that. ASIC, A-S-I, algorithmic, algorithmic something, integrated circuit, algorithm. Application-specific integrated circuit? Oh, application-specific, that would be it. Algorithm-specific, application-specific, there you go. All right. So the reason why is that Ethereum was designed to not be oh. originally for ASICs. ASICs weren't required yet for mining Ethereum. GPU no. mining was still best. It's, that's not, it's not the case. Ethereum, when it first came out, and it changed a little bit down the line because they hated miners. They came at the guns. <laughs> but in the, in the beginning, they didn't want to have ASICs. So they designed their software to be only mineable with GPUs. And make it made it very memory heavy. Okay. Memory heavy is bad for ASICs and it's good for consumer GPUs. So didn't, didn't people just make ASICs with bigger memory buses or onboard memory or whatever? Well, they, or? they did it towards the end, but it was still cheaper. It's very cheap to go and build a towards the end? Is Ethereum done? Ethereum is done with GPU mining, yeah. What do you, like you like there's no more to be mined ever? Well they do proof of stake now. It's it's um it's a different situation. Oh, Basically, damn. it's, you know, rewards people who have more Ethereum. And it, basically, it's like you, you stake your Ethereum saying that the transactions that you've done were true. And if they were not true, you lose your Ethereum as a result. So it rewards people that have a lot of Ethereum, which is like, you know, the original people that were in Ethereum, the rich get richer type of thing. And miners are out of the picture, um, essentially. So that, but there's still miners that do stuff. Okay, so your so your whole thing, you could have just said we did Ethereum, and Ethereum wasn't really GPU mined. Okay, no, that's not true. Oh, then what happened? Talk to me. Well, everything I did was perfect. It's only once the company was acquired that everything went. To well, shit. then why did you guys do GPUs for Ethereum instead of? Because that's all you could do. You couldn't mine Bitcoin anymore. All the Bitcoins mined as well. No, no one mined Bitcoin with Ethereum. Or sorry, with GPUs. Sorry. That's why no. I'm asking why you bought GPUs instead of ASICs. Because GPUs are flexible and you can move off of other things. ASICs, you buy it, it does one thing. Once it's not effective anymore, it's a fucking toaster that doesn't work and you throw it in the garbage. Oh, as opposed lost. to the GPUs that you, were, you resold uh, for how much? As opposed to the GPUs that still you can go and resell to this day. Yes, For $175. You know how much I was buying GPUs for? 1080 Ti's? I was buying them in bulk for four hundred and fifty dollars in 2017. And today, you just said that they were still going for 100 and 65 dollars mm -hmm. so yeah that's a lot of, that's a better value yes how did we get into this fucking conversation i was just curious what your rationale was for why you bought 1080 ti's instead of asics if you're mining crypto because and then ASICs you are fucking garbage that's why wow because, because when an asic stops working it's just literally that's e one of the cons yeah but the pros is that you outcompete anybody using a gpu for whatever application you're for whatever period of time yeah that's the yeah it's called a trade-off you know what you're doing right now you're what? acting like you know what you're talking about but you really don't no and i'm just correcting you because you're saying this whole thing that, that exists there's a whole market for it. you're like this thing is pointless smile well, it's not pointless there's have. a reason why people made them and bought them and used them but no. yeah there's a downside as well Correct. no there, there is no downside okay and it pisses me off that you're there you know what else pisses me off besides that? Everyone's saying that I'm drunk out of my mind. I'm not drunk out of my mind. I'm perfectly ready to drive. I could tell you everything that Stephen is typing right now on his keyboard right now. What do you now. think I just typed? I think that you're typing to a future female account encounter that something is going to happen later tonight. We're going to be like, hey, we'll meet up at that cheeseburger place. Wow. Oh, you see that? That's that's true. Look at that smile. Look okay, at it. I'll read it. You know what I said? No. I said in all caps, it's because of that 50 millimeter lens. That's why Dan's shot looks better than mine. I need a 70 millimeter of the same brand for Dan's instead of that garbage in all caps. Who are you talking to? Uh, my camera guy who does all the camera shit. You know what? That right. guy, you don't need anything from me. I'm perfect exactly as I am. That's fucked up. Johnny Smalley? Yeah, let's go to Johnny Smalley. Dan has to recover. I can't believe. Oh my God, I did confuse him. Girdle is the Navy, the Navy guy. He went to the military. What's wrong with Girdle? He was also in Rust. I remember. Stop typing. You're talking you know to me what? or Jared? Israeli, Israel has the hottest women in their military. Yes. You know Johnny Smalley Oh, you is? a bad bitch. I swear to God. You, you are a bad, bad bitch. I'll take you to dinner. Uh-oh. I swear to God. I swear uh -oh. to God. I'll change your life. I'll change your life, baby. 
Baby, I change your he life. I change. promise you. The you fact that he's yelling this right means that he wouldn't change your life. I change your life, baby His girl. Life's you about to change. His no life more. would change for the Bitch, worse. I change His your life's life. about to change. He would fucking. Sm she would smack the shit out of him. I'm, I'm, I'm in the sidewalk. I'm in the sidewalk. Oh. Oh. Okay. What are we even watching? Hi, Smalley. Oh, it's Johnny Smalley. Got it. This guy is like a f***ing turbo retard, right? Yeah, he's being turbo retarded right now. Ooh. And we're just banned in Israel. He didn't know that. Now he's in real big trouble. Why is he in Israel? That's not his place. That's our place. USA! USA! I'm from America! USA! This guy is such a fucking retard. I feel embarrassed to share anything with him at all. Wait, that was it? That was the whole video? Yep. What happened to it? Well, he gets arrested. I assume there's nothing left. God, I fucking... You know what? Japan, fuck you guys. You guys are a bunch of fucking pussies. You should have kept this guy in jail forever. We were all hoping that was like a 10-year sentence. You know what? You could have done it, and we would have been fine with it. We would have been fine with it. Would we have not? If Japan sentenced Johnny Somali to 10 years, would you have been okay with it? I'd have to know exactly what he was charged It doesn't with. matter. Just for being Johnny Somali. That's the charge. Oh, we're memeing? That'd be I'm, fine. You yeah, should, exactly. Arrest him. Yes, yeah. that is. We would be fine Absolutely. with that. Absolutely. That guy. That guy is a net negative to anyone who actually does streaming serious or unserious or anywhere in between he's just a fucking cocksucker jesus christ you disagree why boys? the homophobia you're right i shouldn't have said that we're on we're on anything else you can drop an f-bomb if you want no I i'll give you the f pass i wouldn't i wouldn't do that do it no do it you do it all the time when we're off stream well we're never saying the i never do that you know i'm completely moderated not that i don't even want to say those words really those are horrible words oh okay that's crazy i would never Dan, we can see your pit stains. You can't. You know why? I don't sweat. I don't sweat that much. Not that much. I smell fantastic. And I doesn't stain through. Okay. Why are you laughing? It's it not wasn't. True. It was the you one. You know what else? I'm looking at your beard. You have some white hairs just like me, actually. Kind of. Yeah, it's fucked. Sucks getting a little bit older, huh? Do you want to do that comparison right now? I mean, you're almost as old as I am. Okay. Um, if we had a guest here, I worry that I don't know myself and I would be too confrontational and they would f***ing smack me. Oh, you're not that confrontational. But I would be. Especially in real life, you're a bitch. Yeah, no, but I've been drinking, so I don't yeah, know but myself. Yeah, you'd, you'd still be a pussy. You'd be even more of a pussy drinking. No, I wouldn't. I'm less of a pussy when I'm drinking. When, I'm, when I haven't drank, I'm like uber pussy. I'm like pros and cons. Me saying this, I get smacked. Um, that's how I am when I, when I've not been drinking, when I've been drinking, I'm just like, Hey, dipshit, you're a dipshit. Like, remember when I asked you before? Yeah. Wait, can they see my discord? Or are they trolling me? They're trolling you. Okay. I got a question. Yeah. Which of the Krasenstein brothers do you think you could beat up in a fight easier? Well, I think, I think Brian said he was an, a half inch shorter. So that guy, <laughs> that's like, yeah, a but the other answer. one, he had more muscle. That he's still shorter doesn't matter. Height trumps all. I could beat up any person shorter than me. Five seven or shorter, any person in the world. Five seven or shorter, I could beat Is the shit all, out of. So it's all about reach. L literally anybody, the best MMA fighter in the world, five seven and lower, I could beat the shit out of him. It wouldn't even be close. Okay, gotcha. That is no. That's such bullshit. You can't. Yeah, he's trolling. What do you mean? <laughs> You understand reach is really important, right? Not for grappling, no. It's a, it's oh, yeah? The what, goal is yeah, to get you... Don't, you don't get to grapple if I fucking smack you out, Lycan. Lycan, before we me. check, Lycan, before we check, if I look at the top 10 MMA or UFC fighters... All of them are going to have uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu as part of their fucking repertoire. Yeah, and what yeah. do you think the average height's going to be? 5'8", five, 5'6"? Five, it six? doesn't matter. Oh, it do if it doesn't matter, then it should be a random plot along a normal distribution like you'd find in society, right? You don't think they're all going to be like 5'11 or taller? I have no idea. Do you have I don't know, yeah. He's looking it up. He's like so easy to trick. It's just simple. <laughs> you ever seen that movie Simple Jack? No. No. You know what makes me sad? Probably a lot of things, but go ahead. A lot of things do make me sad, but one thing in particular. There's no more there there's probably never going to be another Indiana Jones with Harrison Ford.
Are they, aren't there like 30 of them with Harrison Ford? It doesn't matter. We just saw the last one. That's part of getting older is the actors that you like that are 50 years older than you can no longer act. I know, but that's the last one. That's it. Are you okay? I'm sad. I'm sad. That's it. That's it. You know, you don't care, man. That's it. That's the end of a fucking empire. Yeah. Harrison Ford is done. The, sad. You know, if we get a fucking new Indiana Jones, it's going to be like, you know what they're going to do? They're going to like Star Wars it. It's going to be with a bunch of people. I don't know. I don't care about. It's just not the same. Did you see the last one? I did see the last one. Is it good? I haven't seen it. Yeah, it was, it was fine. It was good. Any Indiana Jones is good. Like, if you rewatched it, would you go Crystal Skull and then watch it? Like, would you continue? I didn't rewatch it. Can I be it's honest? Not, not I watched one of the Indiana Jones and I, it was stupid. It was Wh a bad which movie. One? I don't even remember. It was one where they were running from a boulder. And I was like, this movie sucks. Oh, that's a classic. It was just such a horrible movie. It's not a horrible. That's a really good example of the, when I'm talking about pre-97 movies that are just bad, that's what I'm talking about. You had to be there. Exactly. Did you, you did. like MacGyver? MacGyver, no. Wow. I don't know if I can talk to you anymore. Have you ever heard of a show called Burn Notice? <laughs> I <laughs> better love burn notice. because it's a better macgyver he's cooler he's hotter his girl is hotter he f oh her. my god did macgyver even have a girlfriend first off you don't know that he f her did he sophia no fiona fiona yes he did it was fiona and yes he did he did burn notice is a fucking fantastic show i thought you were gonna shit talk it don't you dare i wasn't it's a good show it is a good show a little bit it falls into a couple cringe traps but it's okay doesn't matter michael weston can do no harm bro no, here's the real thing. And he's in he's, Miami. He is, just like us. And Dexter. True, and Golden Girls. <laughs> With, Miami one, one of these things are not like the other. They're all in Miami. Okay, that is true. We should get the, what's the name of the Michael, or, or uh, is it Michael something? The Dexter actor. It's not Michael. It's not Michael, Michael C. Hall. Yeah. Michael C. Yeah, we should get him on the show. Oh, yeah. I can totally make that happen. He's probably like a B-list, B-lister now. C-lister? Has he ever been in a movie Hold before? On. You know, actually, that's a real talk. Where does Michael... Was it C or B Hall? Something Michael Hall. Is that his name? I don't even know if that's his name. I'm going to check his Instagram. If he's got less than a million, less than two million followers, we can get him. Well, I mean, probably not after what we're saying right now. Wait, does he not have a, any social media? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I haven't. Tell me. I <laughs> just. I just had a brain blast remembering all of the <laughs> all of the hypothetical episodes we were gonna do for oh, the yeah. show. Yeah. I just remembered the DSP yeah, the one. The DSP with the wrestlers. <laughs> yeah. Because my thought was like, oh well if we can't get him on, we could just pay him for like twenty cameos and then ask him questions and pretend that he's on. <laughs> we could like put a monitor here and just play the cameos in response to our questions. And then I remember like for DSP, uh, we were gonna ask him a bunch of questions. We were gonna play the the WCW, the WWF fighters that he's buying on his gacha games to like read the questions to him yeah. until he would walk off and leave. Oh man. <laughs> I Hulk Hogan here. Dark How side is it? Bill. <laughs> DSP spent Tens of thousands of dollars on this game. They're ex they're addicting. They if you have any, if you want to know if somebody has a penchant for gambling, you stick one of those like either Korean MMOs or some type of like mobile game in front of them, and you will find out in six hours if they're a gambler. You will find out immediately. If they don't get if they don't spend a single dollar, you know immediately that person will never gamble on anything in their life. That's he, a rock solid asset. He did it though. He showed the haters. He did. You know what he did? Everyone was against him. They had people memeing on him, calling in to his credit meetings, everything like that. At mm -hmm. the end of the day, you know what? You know who discharged tens of thousands of dollars of debt? Dark side Phil. Was it? Wasn't it? Wasn't it over a hundred k? No shot. Somebody look this up. Quick to the meme caves. You know what's? You know what I just thought of? Hmm. I think Lord of the Rings may be one of the best. Those three movies may be one of the best. Probably. It may be number one of rewatchable movies. What do you like think? Like the trilogies? Yeah. I think it's almost a perfect trilogy. Those three movies are almost perfect. I almost think. perfect. Yeah. It is so good. It is so amazingly good. I don't know of anything else that compares to that. I can't find a total, but on this YouTube video, um, in the month of March, he spent 3777 Spent what? 3777 No, no. What was his bankruptcy for? Like, how much money did he discharge oh. in bankruptcy? His that bankrupt should be a public order, right? Because it's public. His bankruptcy was because he was a retard.
What is CLP? Hold on. I gotta I know it's only a dollar. CLP. USD. It was five hundred thousand for a DSP's bankruptcy. Holy shit. Five on wait, no, 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 wait, hold on. Schedule D. Let me read this. Hold on. Schedule D. Creditors who have claimed secured by property was three hundred forty eight thousand. And then creditors who have unsecured claims was fifteen thousand. And then copy the total claims in part two. Okay, so his total liabilities were four hundred ninety-four thousand. Do you know what chapter bankruptcy he filed? And do you know if this was the total amount that was discharged through bankruptcy? Or what, what's the difference between chapter seven and eleven? And chapter seven, I think you're basically telling the bank, "Listen, I fucked up bad. I just want to keep my car in my house, and I'm going to lose everything else. And you split it amongst my creditors, and all my debt is forgiven." Okay. okay. Uh, chapter eleven is like, "Listen, I." up really bad they're not going to work with me i kind of want to keep my shit can you help me negotiate something where i like do a scheduled payment plan and i'll kind of like pay them off and then we agree uh, that so everything's chapter seven towards. is like the yolo chapter seven is like you f chapter 11 i know like my parents filed both of them and uh chapter 11 is like the more structured like we're going to make payments to the bank and the bank's going to pay my creditors and they can't come and seize any of my shit because i've got bankruptcy protection God, a youtuber fuck. has been kidnapped who can you pull that up steve you didn't cover this no i it sounds dumb a YouTuber has been kidnapped, Stephen. That could be you. That could be us when we go to Israel. <sighs> Who's this guy? The collapse. Just retard went to Haiti. The Haitian gang yeah. leader named Barbecue, who ominously looks His very name's well. Oh, wait, I've heard so about this. Now the YouTuber, your fellow this. Arab, who's best known for going to dangerous parts of the planet and even interviewing cartel scenarios, set out to interview Barbecue as well. So oh, he actually shirt cannot off. leave to Port-au-Prince until the morning because it's already 6 p.m. It's like he thinks that he's right sexy, now, but he's we'll not. Get there while it's dark, You're and fat, that place bro. Is completely run by gangs, so you don't want to be dealing with the I gangs. I feel like I'd rather go to Gaza than go to Haiti right now. Oh, yeah, All it takes is one stupid gang member holding an AK for one thing to go wrong. And this is Arab's last known video, as Haiti24.net reports that he was kidnapped, and loosely translating their article, it states the journalist went to interview Barbecue in Haiti, but was kidnapped by the gang leader Lamo hey, look, he loves Jesus. Q, who He's demanded a, a ransom of $600,000. They paid $40,000, but the gang is demanding more. Now Lord Miles Routledge, who is also known for going to dangerous places, like traveling to Afghanistan and being taken into Taliban custody for eight months cheeks. and surviving, stated that Arab went to Haiti with a fixer named Sean Rubens Jean Sacra 10 days ago to film the riots, where Arab was well aware of the risks being kidnapped and barbecue. was subsequently kidnapped 24 hours into his journey. Friends and family attempted to pay the ransom, but it failed, and the U.S. State Department doesn't seem to be helping, despite the fact that Arab is a U.S. citizen currently being held in a cage. And even though they offered to set Sean free, he refused to leave Arab, and Arab still believes he'll be able to make a great video off this incident. <laughs> but Lord Miles does warn people of all the like, random yo, this is gonna be a out, sick YouTube specifically video. Specifically stating, don't start or donate to any GoFundMe on Arab's behalf. Finishing it with a F all the leftist no-name journalist okay, trying to contact him. <clears throat> you know what's kind of annoying about bailouts for like the car companies like TARP or like 2007 the mortgage shit? What about it? I don't like, okay. You know when you do an investment, okay? Yeah. The investment is supposed to be risk adjusted. Yeah. So if I'm donating, or if I'm not donating, if I'm investing in something, I tell you, I'm getting a 50% return. Mm -hmm. Your mind should be thinking that must be a really risky investment, right? Yeah, for sure. Well, if I am a safe investor and I'm expecting, you know, seven to ten percent returns, mm -hmm. and some other guy is investing for fifty percent returns, how ass mad am I going to be when his investment crashes and then the government bails it out? What I'm, I'm thinking very is, upset. you got this whole ass upside. Now, when your downside is coming, as it should, you get a you get protection there. It's not okay. If you're going to market yourself as somebody that goes to dangerous places in the world, mm -hmm. and you're going to pretend that you're in all this danger, all this risk, but as soon as you get captured, you can internationally raise a million dollars or beg the U.S. State Department to bail you out, you shouldn't be able to market yourself as a fucking risky adventure. Yeah. You should just say, I go somewhere, and if I get caught, I'm going to beg you guys for money to break me out. He yeah. should have to break out on his own. Exactly. That's if like I see any GoFundMe, I'm reporting it. I think it's not true. I'm going to make fake accounts and hack it. That's why when we go to Israel... We're we, not going to ask for any money. No, we are going to ask for a lot of money because we never do this <laughs> oh, crazy shit. That I mean, yeah. Yeah, exactly. When we get caught, you guys better come up with huge amounts. Of, I'm talking about no. fucking tens no, of no, millions no, 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 of dollars. Shh. 
the most our fans can raise is 100k. 100k. You know, <laughs> $100,000 and any excess will go to the There's a movie being made right now where two retards like us get captured and they're like how much can we get for them? And yeah. then they go through our videos and they see us saying 10 yeah. million dollars oh, and they're like no, we were there's just joking, no, man. Yeah, there's no and way like, we could come. But li listen, like 50k. We can do 50k for sure. Oh I disagree. God. I think the U.S. government has a responsibility to recover captured U.S. citizens, if at all possible. F no. Dan, are you going to Israel with Destiny? I am going to Israel with him, as long as he pays for 100% of all of my expenses, including my hummus along you the way. You said it right. Wait. What the f*** is he talking about? 100%. How, would you How else would you say hummus? Oh, I thought he was saying hummus. He's saying 100%, because he thinks I say 100%. I'm not retarded, Lycan. We should go someplace with hummus tonight so I can show you how f***ing mid it is. That could be our behind the scenes it, footage. It depends on the place. Honestly. That's our behind the scenes footage for this Patreon. I already, I already did a lot of yeah, the, we the more. behind the scenes. Behind the scenes footage. Mm -hmm. I've already done some We already of it. know what's behind Dan's scenes. Erectile dysfunction medication. <laughs> That's not the case. I'm like very, I'm very, very active. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am. You know, after, know you are. after 20 years of marriage, you got to be. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I'm the opposite of you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Very, you know, babe, you're out there. I want you to know I love you. There's no one else. Wait, I got to look at the camera when I say this. <laughs> Just me and you, babe. That's right. <laughs> All these other bitches, they ain't got shit on you. You know what? I mean it too. That's the big thing to know. To, say, to be able to say that. Yeah. You used to be able to say that. Did I? You were married at one point in time. You married could say at two that. points in time. Two points in time. Twice. That means technically I have twice as much marriage experience as you. Because I've been through twice as many. When I get, if I get married again, it'll be three times as many marriages. I, mean, I suppose you could, you could probably say that. That's true. Um, what's up with that memetics guy? What's he doing right now? I don't know. I don't keep track of his life. I mean, but if you had to guess, what is he doing right now? I, well, I would probably take what he was doing for the last time I checked on him, and I'd just project it to today, so... Probably nothing. <laughs> I don't know. All right. I don't know what you do in Sweden, in European countries, when you like stop making content. Don't they have like free education and shit? Did, did he stop making content? I thought he did, or at least he had. Okay. Zoom in on me right here. I, I need to pour it. Have you done it? Yep. Okay. I would fuck you up. Don't be in my lane, kid. You understand what I'm saying? Stay out of the United States. Stay in your fucking country. You, you come to here, you're fucking done. <laughs> you're done, so. All right, good. That's it. That was all I had to add to the situation right there. Um, wild situation you had. And it's more wild for me being friends with both of you, you and Melina. Um, it's unfortunately, it's wild for you in ways that the public will never know also. <laughs> I don't, what, what are the ways that are, actually, no, I was going to say, what are the ways that the public won't know, but I don't know to know to say, to ask you that question. I'll ask you that question after because I don't know what the question are. I'd fuck you up though. Just to be clear, not not you, but the other guy. I could for your sure. Your mic is fucked right now. You know, do you know what I would do? Why not move the mic instead of moving your face every time? Just like face I, it towards I, I like the strategy more. Oh my god! Do you know what I would do? Do you know my strategy for what? fighting? Yeah, tell me. I run at him <laughs> full full speed, and I knock and I knock him over, and I'm on top of him, and then I start <laughs> like that, and then they can't do nothing about it, and that's how that's how you win. Okay. There's no. There's no. There's no it's stopping it. They don't expect it. Jay, it's never viewer Collins. Okay. Give us our first one. All right. Jay, hold on. Are we screening these? <laughs> no. Okay. I listen. I'm being brutal for these. Okay. Good luck. Don't let. Hold on. Same Z's. Try to verify their sub level. Right click their name and Discord see if they're sub. Because don't let them in if they're sub. Because it's. I'm gonna be mean. I mean, if they're in the T5 waiting room, they're subbed, right? Oh or, my god. Wait a second. First off, before we're doing that, we have the. Uh, don't we have the anything else? Patreon.com. What are you laughing? This is your money too, you I stupid didn't bastard. I didn't, laugh. I didn't laugh. All right. I had a sniffle. I'm had COVID-19. Patreon.com slash anything else. Hey, fucking pay up. All right. I'm not paying for this shit myself. You think I'm coming here entertaining you, misspeaking for free? No, not even for free. You think I'm spending money to misspeak? You're out of your fucking mind if that's the case. Anyways. All right, coming in, we have printer. Printer, speak. Oh, hey, guys, hear me? What? You're going to have to speak a okay, little bit on, louder. Like it. Can we get some fucking audio here? Holy shit. I'm so sorry. 
No, it's better? not you. It's it's Lycan over here. Right. Dan's hearing aid oh, isn't strong enough for this shit. Jesus. Hold on. I need, I need to turn it up a little bit. Yeah, okay. Yes. All right, speak better? now, retard. What, what do you got? You test? I'm not a retard. Fuck you. Oh, God, um, he's a British. Yeah, question for Dan. Sorry, yeah, sorry. Question for you, Dan, if that's okay. A question for um, me. I want you to know. Hold on. Yes. Real, let me let me stop you real quick. A question for mm. me because I'm more important than you. He's, even though this He's is not, not even American. It, even though this is not my show, he wants to ask me something. Okay. I want you to think yeah. about that for a second. Ask your question. It's going to be so bad. It's going to be a it's really amazing. Bad, it's going to be an amazing question. And question. only I can okay. answer it. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, Dan's been gone for a while. And I was just thinking, now that he's back, is there something, what's something that you can think of where it's like, man, I really didn't miss this sort of thing. Something that really makes you say that. I've been gone for a while and now I'm back. And is there something yeah. where I can say, man, I really missed this. Fuck. Like, no, we got a miss. troubleshoot again. Did you hear that? <laughs> there was like a 30 second echo. Fuck off. So um, did it, that, now that did you're back miss. on the street. Listen, is, I'm is, here yeah, purely... Miss. I'm here purely out of spite. That's it. You know what? The, there's. I'm gonna say it again because you know, honestly, at this point, I don't give a shit. It's spite based. It's me versus the world. That's how we do it. They come at you with the seven. You come back with a. I don't know. like Dan is like a soundboard. <laughs> he plays this one, and then next is gonna. You know, I can the, say it. Do you know the Jewish food is uh, good because all of our holidays are just people trying to kill us and failing. You've and... heard it. They haven't heard it. <laughs> True. Right? Okay, sorry. Do that again. Anyways, um. What was the question again? Is there something uh, that now you that you're back? What's something where you're like, God, I remember this and I hated it. Oh, that I hated yeah. it. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't think I hate anything. I'm very thin skinned and like a, like a pussy. So I read all the comments and like, people are like, Oh, Dan is so annoying. And it like makes me cry. There you go. Well, so, so that, to be so fair, that though, stuff. I mean, most people are pretty nice. God, to his accent least. is such a good. He's got such a good English I accent. Know, I know, I know. Where, where are you really? from? Are you, is this the Cambridge one? I'd be with him. Or are you Australian? Holy shit! How do you know oh, that? that is the Cambridge? You know, I'm pretty. Well, I'm traveled and worldly. You know, actually, it's not really. It's, if you're, it's Cambridge ish. It's Cambridge ish. It's like, he would take care of you. He's a little. He's a little north area. of Cambridge. Like if you're if you're with this guy, he would he would take care of you. He no, would be I don't like, think he would. He would be an accountant, and he would work all day, and you would be working in the garden, and you'd come home, and you'd make him a stew, and he'd be super nice to you, and he'd be like, oh. I was a proper stew. Shut up. Do you think that we could get Mr. Girl back on this show? On this one? On this show. Probably. Maybe. What do you think he would want to talk about? I don't know, but... If you had to get... Huh? I'm not, I well, know he's you got don't a know. new theory on how the universe works. No. And black holes. He says the whole universe is a black hole. Yep. He's kind of crazy. Like, actually pull out a schizo. I don't think Mr. Girl is schizo. I think he is a dedicated performance artist. Yeah? Who are you typing to? You're typing Where? fast. Don't ever look at my life. I'm look I'm looking. I know what you just typed. No, you didn't. I did. I I, I view in one hundred frames per second and I've intercepted did all the things. You know that uh, him and Lav are doing a show. Who? Lav. They do a show, they do a podcast together. By the way. Oh f why not? Oh wait, hold on. Yeah. Push the button on the soundboard where Dan does a whole twenty minute rant on how hot he thinks Lav is again. Go ahead. What? <laughs> Lav is good looking. I'll say that much. But that said, also, Lav's husband does not control Ridge Wallet, even in the f***ing slightest. He's a wage... Oh! It's a true. He's a wage slave. Oh! Hold up! Hold up! There you go. For hold anyone who, up! For anyone who didn't know... You're Wait. saying he's not earning... Millions of dollars a year. He doesn't earn enough to fund all of their life. Do you think that's why she had to go back to OnlyFans to make money for the household? I didn't say all that. You said all that. Oh! You don't get to say oh, oh. when you say the thing. Why? Well, well, I guess you can do it actually. But <laughs> do you know? I can't tell if this is a meme or not. <laughs> what? You're typing to me a secret meme? No, I'm too. I can't type right now. Um. What? Somebody had a. What were we doing? I don't know. I was doing a thing. Okay. And somebody reached out to his sponsor. Yeah. And somebody replied to me was like, "We reached out to Rich Wallet, and they said definitely not, but they didn't say why." <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if it's because they know me, because of a past sponsorship, or because of. <laughs> I feel like how many bridges do I want to burn right now? All of them. That's the whole point of the show. Is this the opposite of bridges? That would make sense, right? Bridges is not a good name. It's like you know we're making a bridge. 
to something else. You know what the intro to this show should be? I, we it should just have, be that inter like, Indonesian. We have the most cat jam it should be the intro. Indonesian boat crashing into the bridge. There's your opposite. Boom. You know, President Sunday, your favorite person in the entire world, made a a video of my face on a boat crashing into the bridge. Mm -hmm. The idea was that I was crashing into bridges, ruining it. That's hilarious. Wow. I thought it was funny. Yeah. Anyways. Um, what were we talking about again? I don't know. We got 15 minutes. Are we counting down the moments? Are you are you that miserable right now? I mean, because I'm like half tipsy and like on my vibe answer. Off just of a weird one feeling. drink? Yeah, Listen, I mean, you, you're, you know what you're on? You're on the beta fucking medication too. You take Vyvanse. I take dextroamphetamine. I take a raw, full, all at once. You're like, mm -hmm, I can't take it all at once. Let me take it sugar-coated, please, so my system can digest it over 12 hours. Yours is like, I need to take the raw one because I need to take a really small dose because I can't be awake and productive for like lots of hours. I'm just going to take it no, like when I want to feel fucking high. That's not true. You, you, you know what we call you? An abuser. No. You're an I'm abuser. An, I'm a user. You're getting high. Yes, a user. Yes. That's another word for abuser. Mm. Okay. All right. You know, I have a great time. I'm really enjoying myself. You enjoying yourself as well? Yeah. You feel like this is, I think this is more fun than you would normally have just doing the streaming show, right? Maybe, yeah. You know why? Why? Because together we can make fun of the retards. Normally it's just you on your own being able to make fun of them. But now it's like a joint task force, if you will. Okay, we'll pick a retard to make fun of. Hold on. Uh, one second. <laughs> Um, uh, stop. <laughs> Who are you making fun of there, Dan? <laughs> making fun of myself. Thanks. We're going to be here again next week on anything else. You know what we could do, Steve? We could do this thing where we say, eh, anything else? You know, do you want to say it? Didn't we do it at the end of the last episode? I think we did do it. At but the then end you like the ruined it by doing this whole outro. I, we did. Well, anything okay. else? No. Anything else? Nope. No. All right. See you next week. See you next week. Thank you. Bye.